Auf den Malediven leben 540.000 Menschen mit und auf dem Wasser. Sie tragen dazu bei, dass dort jährlich mehr als eineinhalb Millionen Touristen ihren Traumurlaub verbringen können. Ich werfe einen Blick hinter die Kulissen dieser vermeintlichen Traumwelt. Von oben ist dieser Traum noch ungetrübt. Unzählige Atolle erstrecken sich wie eine Perlenkette im unendlichen Blau inmitten des Indischen Ozeans. Ich mache mich von der Hauptstadt Male aus auf den Weg zu einer kleinen Insel im Nordmale Atoll. Dort treffe ich Hasim und Hiat, zwei junge Malediver, die ich vor ein paar Jahren bei einem Korallenrestaurationsprojekt kennengelernt habe. Hey, good to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, what are you up to? Being in the beach. Being in the beach. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's quite quite a wheelbarrow full of stuff. How long did it take you? Uh, it took like 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. Really fast, huh? It's really fast. Yeah. yeah. So what did you find? Mostly bottles mm -hmm. and ropes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Where does that stuff come from? Did you check on the bottles or? Yeah, it was from. Different countries. Different countries. Yeah. Hasim und Hirz Berichte trüben die vermeintliche Schönheit, welche die Atolle aus der Luft noch ausgestrahlt haben. In den nächsten Tagen verbringe ich Zeit mit ihnen bei ihrer Arbeit, um mehr über ihr Leben auf den Malediven zu erfahren. Was bedeutet der Ozean für sie? Was sind die Probleme, mit denen sie konfrontiert sind? Und was wünschen sie sich für ihre Zukunft? I am Hirz. I am Hasim. We both are dive masters working at a restoration site here in North Malato, Maldives. The first time when I went diving was around 2015. When I came for holidays in Mali, I went for my first dive. I mean, it was like 15 minutes dive, just to look around how it feels. So I wanted to become a dive master to explore more the oceans and teach others about the oceans and create awareness about the beautiful underwater world. What I like about the ocean is the creatures which are inside the ocean. It's fascinating and it has so many species that we don't know. So I just want to know the information about it, even though I, I might not know everything. I started diving when I was 17, so it's 2017. My first dive, it was not what I expected, like much more to it. I thought it was like just jumping into the water and going down, but it has many rules. And first I went into the water, it felt like a dream, like unreal. The problem is the use of single-use plastic here at Maldives that keeps uh, getting onto our beaches. And it's not only coming from the Maldives, it's coming from the other countries which is around the Maldives and it's getting onto the reef and beaches as well. Uh, the solution is not to use single-use plastic. People might take some time to adjust. We can have reusable products than single use and like for each one we have option reusable and single use so why not choose the reusable one because we already have that option so I think Ben it's possible. To solve the problem in the Maldives I think we need to create awareness worldwide. We do it by showing how it's affecting our life and our ecosystem. In the future, I want to see clean beaches, plastic-free oceans, and healthier for us. 
I, I agree. <laughs> what I would like to see in the future is better ecosystems, healthier coral reefs, and people knowing the knowledge about pollution and being more aware about it and acting on it. Die beiden nehmen mich mit auf einen Tauchgang in ihre Unterwasserwelt. Dabei sehe ich, dass die Zerstörung der Riffe schon stark vorangeschritten ist. Gleichzeitig gibt es immer wieder Stellen, die Hoffnung machen, dass sie sich wieder erholen können. Yeah, actually, I really like it. So, um, I mean, you can see that the reef is really affected by the coral bleaching. Yeah. But there are some really nice spots left, and that, that shows me that it's really still important to do something for the reefs. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, growing up, I saw many kids walking on corals while swimming, uh, destroying them. So after I started diving, I knew more about corals and how important they are. And now I am working on the coral restoration site to learn more about corals and I want to teach others about it. Tell me, how was it to grow up in the ocean? So growing up at the ocean, it's like, you know, most of the parts in our life, it's related to the ocean. After school, we, when we get free times, we come to the beach, it's fresh, grow snorkeling, free diving and swimming. Just having fun at the beach and the sea. Mm. So what was your most beautiful experience in the water? Uh, one of the things recently happened, at least like one of the beautiful moments I had, like when I was diving at the restoration site, uh, it came, a uh, huge hornet eagle there just came unexpectedly, so I would say it's one of the best things I had. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the other buff? No. No. I didn't go diving that day. Said, did you see the after that? Sad too bad. <laughs> yeah. Es macht Hoffnung zu sehen, dass sich auch auf den Malediven junge Menschen für eine lebenswerte Zukunft, für Natur und Mensch einsetzen und in ihrem Land aktiv mitgestalten wollen. Denn die Ozeane sind Lebensgrundlage für alle Menschen, nicht nur auf den Malediven. Um, actually, you, you told me a story about a friend with whom you saw. He is actually a friend of my brother, so he knows each So the resort that he was working on was uh, putting waste into the ocean. Mm -hmm. He saw that and he went with the boat and took all the waste and put it in front of the resort reception. Oh, okay. So I think he got fired yeah. for that and he was not, not that sad about it because he loves the ocean and he want to protect it. Yeah. yeah. So it was more important for him to really show what's going on. From that also, more people will get uh, awareness and they will feel confidence to do something about the ocean, mm -hmm. pollution, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it was all over social media. Everyone was sharing it. Yeah. Yeah. 